The OSI model is basically the cornerstone of data communications. And if any networking professional uh, starting their career needs to learn about the seven layers of the OSI model. So hopefully you already know a little bit about it, but if you don't, a great place to start, believe it or not, is Wikipedia. Now Wi-Fi very specifically operates at layer one and layer two of the OSI model. The physical layer, which is your RF radio frequency medium, and the data link layer, uh, which is where the 8 or 11 frame exchanges happen between uh, AP radios and client radios. Now, when you start at the higher layers from seven to four, that information goes down the OSI stack. And when it gets to layer three, you slap on an IP header and it becomes a packet. Okay, and now you have an IP packet and that is then sent down to layer two where it becomes a frame. Uh, for, with Wi-Fi, they're called 802.11 MAC protocol data units. And we'll learn more about that in the next video. The frame is then sent down to the physical layer uh, at layer one. And layer one is divided into two sub-layers. First, you have the physical layer convergence procedure sub-layer, where all the packaging is done and the phi header is added on. And then it's sent down to the lower sub-layer, the physical medium dependent sub-layer. And that's where modulation happens. That's where the data is modulated into ones and zeros um, onto the carrier signal. Now, um, when you talk about data, uh, a bit is a binary di digit taking a value of either zero and one. Um, binary di digits, as we all know, are a basic unit of communication in digital computing. Uh, in future videos, we'll talk about modulation and the different types of modulation that occurs at the PMD sublayer uh, to represent ones and zeros. Uh, of course, uh, a byte of information consists of eight bits and sometimes you'll hear that referred to as an octet, which is just another name for a byte of data.